Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the module 5 super important question which is regarding the k-nearest neighbor. It's a very simple uh, step process, just you have to apply and you can easily uh, score um, at least 8, uh, this is 10 mark question, okay. So you can easily score 10 mark question, just 2 step process you have to remember. So let's have a look at this, what all you need to keep in mind to solve this question easily, okay. So uh, you need to have a calculator because there is some calculation stuff in that, just that is time uh, taking, uh, rest all is very easy. Before starting, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and without wasting any more time, let's get started. So let's have a look what all is given to us. Apply the K-nearest neighbor classifier to predict the diabetic patient with uh, given features. Okay, so there is a diabetic patient and uh, three features are given to us which is BMI, age and uh, sugar is given. Now we have to calculate if the person has sugar or not. Okay, see BMI's values are given, age values are given and for those corresponding BMI's and age each of them whether they have sugar or not it is given. One means it ha they have sugar, zero means they don't have sugar. And uh, we have been given with a K value 3. I'll be letting you know what exactly you have to do with the K value. And the example which we have to test is BMI is 43.6 and age is equal to 40. We have to predict if the person has sugar or not. BMI uh, 43.6 and age 40. There is no such instance present here. So we have to do some calculations and find out if the person has sugar or not. So what's the first step you have to do? You have to just write what is given to you. The given stuff uh, is K is equal to 3. If the K is equal to 3. This value is given to us. And what is the instance given to us? This is the instance given to us. BMI is 43.6, age is 40 and sugar is nothing. Now uh, the main thing you have to apply here is the distance formula, Euclidean distance formula. Square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Okay. So easily you can remember this. What you have to just do is uh, write find distances here and for each of these you have to first write what is given to you. Okay. You have to write how many other 10 instances are there. 43.6 you have to write 10 times. Okay. And then you have to write minus here. Same thing you have to do with age also, write 10 times and then uh, write all minus here. All you have to do is substitute BMIs correspondingly here, okay, and substitute the uh, uh, age values correspondingly here, okay, and then uh, you can just add them up, okay. You just uh, not have to add them, but you have to uh, find out this uh, answer and then write it as follows and then do the same for every of these instances. And then you have to square each term, okay, means 10 square plus 10 square, like that you have to do, okay. Here 17 square plus 10 square, like that you have to square each term, then add it up. So one answer, you'll be getting the squared terms answered, like 200 here and 389 and 408.04, like that the corresponding answers will be given. And uh, finally, we'll be getting all the squared uh, values. Our next step is to just find out the uh, root of it. So root of 200, root of 389, like that we have to just uh, write down by finding out the root of each of these and uh, what can be observed uh, from here is that uh, whichever is the least uh, root value that you have to select and k value is given to us as 3 right so you have to select the three most least values so the first least value our uh, is uh, 8.52 second least value is 14.14 third least value is 18.88 after you've got the three least values based on the k value you have to tick it up wherever you find here we have the first uh, uh, the second least value this is the first least value and this is the third least value right so uh, we'll be getting three least values here that's all uh, what you have to do uh, here and after you have found the three least values what you can observe is that here we have uh, sugar here also we have sugar and here we don't have sugar right so uh, what can conclusion we can make is we have got uh, two times sugar and one time uh, as no sugar right so uh, the conclusion which can be made here is the majority one okay majority means one one is majority so the person has sugar that will be our final conclusion okay so same steps you have to do for everyone what is given write all of them how many instances are there that many times here also you write what all is there just substitute here from here here uh, these two column values subtract it subtract it do the squares of each term add it up and find the root find the three least values based on k value whatever the majority comes that's your final answer so that's all for this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one